morning. Is it saying record? It's recording right now. Chris Walker, F650 Super Trucks, F650 Extreme Pickups. Um, this is our 2009-2010 series F650 Extreme Pickup Truck. Um, this is the truck that makes it the what makes this truck the extreme is the four-link front air ride, which is a true four-link air ride, which we'll show you later on in the video. We've got a black truck, we've got fully electric sail mirrors, we've got the European surgical stainless steel fuel tanks, 107 gallons per side. Can be gas on one side for your toys, or it can be diesel on both sides. We've got our locking fuel tanks covers, which are patented keyless, so they don't freeze, snap, or lose your keys. We have tools in stock, we supply you with two of them. We've got your battery box here. We've got three 650 cranking amp batteries in here. This is our new fender for 2009-2010. Um, got a little bit more shape and detail to it. These are our custom wheels, rock crawler wheels. Eight holes instead of ten, a little bit larger. For the town, classic Alcoa's. The truck comes with a full LED light package for the blinkers, the side markers, the third brake light, which is not included with four. Uh, this truck will have a 325 horsepower Cummings. This is the new motor with the new emissions, 750 pounds of torque. Um, the truck will run about 100 mile an hour pretty quickly. And uh, got the chrome grill, chrome bumpers. I don't know what else to say. Go back. Go back where you're coming in. All right. Let's take a look inside this truck. First thing you notice in the cockpit area here where the driver sits is we've got Nudo leather seats. These are Ford factory Lariat seats. We've got a leather tilt steering wheel. Um, we've got all the gauges. No dummy lights. You've got your light controls. You've got your air controls which show you your air pressures. This truck runs between 110 and 130 PSI in normal operation. You've got our cruise control here instead of on the steering wheel. You've got an exhaust brake when you're pulling heavy loads. Um, shuts down the truck when you're going down hills. You've got an AM FM CD radio. Four speakers in the standard truck. You've got your air condition and defrost controls. Normal as in any other Super Duty. Little ladder here is we've got dump valves. We have a full air ride suspension in this truck. So when you want to load your trailer, you throw your dump valve, the whole rear end will drop about eight inches back under your trailer, push the button, air comes up, all you got to crank is the, uh, the light weight instead of lifting that whole trailer. You got your cigarette lighters, cup holders, you got your standard glove box. Nice thing about these trucks over most 650s is we get a full center console in them, cup holders, tons of storage, CD racks inside, a little storage in the front, cigarette lighter, we even got a trash bag holder. Um, also equipped in all of our trucks is we have a solid state brake controller for six sets of brakes. Fully adjustable. Um, all these trucks have air horns. Uh, they come stock with a standard one trumpet air horn from Ford. Um, we have two other optional air horns. We've got a triple train chrome 150 dBs. Uh, it's maximum legal. Then we have an authentic train horn if you're that kind of guy or person. Um, pretty loud that one. All cloth visors, cloth headliner, fully carpeted, floor mats. Uh, she's ready to go. Very pretty truck. And that's pretty much uh, how all of our trucks start out. This is the new 325 Cummings. Um, what's nice about it over the old Cummings, it's if you run out of fuel, it's got a little pump up gauge on them. 
fuel filter. As you know, I don't do this all the time. I build trucks. Um, power steering box, everything here is so heavy duty. That's the best thing about these trucks is all the overkill items. And um, the motor is pretty much the motor. It's just a bad boy. What I really brought you in this motor compartment to see is our four-link front air ride. Um, we use an upgraded shock on all our trucks. This is the four-link front air ride. We run bags on each side with dual levelers for proper handling. It handles almost sports car quality. Um, it's adjusted to the ride height and the specifications to the customer. Um, we teach the customer how to do it, including the, uh, the shock adjustments. They're nine-way adjustable shocks. And um, that's pretty much it for that. But it's a lot better ride, probably 70% better than the dual tapered leaf 8,500 pound standard front suspension. All these trucks are going to come with a standard 15,000 pound class 5 hitch, 7 way plug. I'm going to pull this plug out. All the trucks got auxiliary air hookup with 120 psi with uh, 7.5 gallons of air in the tank. Our compressor runs right off the motor. Uh, as you can see, we've got the LED lights in the back. We've got the late model Super Duty bed, chrome bumper, and stainless steel mud flaps, and stainless steel mud flap weights. And they're all sprung low. This is our uh, F650 Extreme. This is an 08 model, built for a customer as a power boat. This is a little bit different than the basic Extreme. It's a super single truck, triple stainless steel tanks, tons of stereo, track vision, custom mirrors that are the 09 Super Duty mirrors, not available on the F650s. Got a really cool option to follow remote control removable bed. The entire bed comes off, sits flat on the ground behind the truck, and um, Load, unload your toys, motorcycles, wet bikes, whatever you may want to take out, hammers, who cares. It'll hold 10,000 pounds, load it and unload it. And it's all wireless remote control. It's awesome. Um, as you can see, this is the super single package, a little exterior stereo. Um, this third compartment is actually not a tank, it's a battery box. And we'll store the batteries in here. This has a marine charging system also. Um, you can sit outside and play your radio and just plug it into a 110 outlet and go all day without running your motor. It's got, uh, up inside this truck, it's got a convertible bed. Works as a bench, full leather, seats three people. Push of a button, slide it forward, drops down right into a bed. He's got a flip down 13 inch in the back. It's got dual captain's chairs. Uh, he's got what we call a daddy cool box. Refrigerator unit, 12 volt. 
Takes about 20 minutes to cool down after that. Holds a 12 pack, your lunch and a bottle of wine, tons of room. Refrigerated cup holders. Uh, he's got custom speaker pods with carbon fiber inlays in the back. Got about 4,000 watts of power. This is an entire JL audio system. Let's see what he's got in the front. Got some custom pods in the front, some carbon fiber accenting. Now he's got a really cool option we came up with here about a year or two ago. We custom mounted a monitor up in between the visors. It's either one, two, three, or four cameras. You can also plug a camera system into the back of whatever you're trailing, be it a horse trailer, power boat, camper, so you can see behind you what's going on. It's got CVs in this, Yelps, PA, sirens, track vision, sunroof. Um, got a lot of strobe lights. If you look under the doors, there's strobe lights. There's four strobe lights under the bed. There's six strobe lights under the frame. Got a little neon glow in the front in front of the hood. Basically, really what I'm trying to show you here is what the extreme can turn into. Custom grill inserts. Um, we extended the bumper on this truck a little bit. Put a stainless steel plate covered with a line X. Uh, helps you climb up there for whatever reason. We got uh, oh, these are our F-150 HID lightning lights. We've developed a mold, cut out a section of this hood install these babies in there. They're factory, fully warrantied. Um, the HID, they're 8090s, high-low. Awesome, awesome headlight. Great addition. That was pretty cool, too. Same TV I got at home.